Welcome back everybody to Passive Income Lifestyle Series. I'm your host, Travis Watts, recording outside today. In today's episode, we're talking a little bit about perspective and gratitude. For example, did you know that there's over a billion people on planet Earth that don't have access to clean water? Furthermore, did you know that the chances of even being born at all on planet Earth are one in 400 trillion? That is trillion with a T. Said another way, you're more likely to win the lottery 10 times throughout your lifetime than to even be born. So I've hit on various elements of perspective and gratitude in previous episodes. I've just never made one full episode where I bring these thoughts together. And that's what we're doing here today. You know, this show is as much about lifestyle and health and well being as it is about finances. So take a few minutes and just be grateful that you're here with me on the show, that you're alive, that you live in America or any developed country around the world for that matter, or the fact that you're an investor and that you have any form of discretionary income where you have the choice to invest and not just have to worry about putting a roof over your head. That's the level of perspective that we're talking about. You know, it's easy here in America with our modern day culture to get caught up with keeping up with the Joneses or to have stress and anxiety over first world problems or to confuse our needs and wants. But you know, we have a choice. We have a choice to be happy. We have a choice to be grateful and just to be here Today, I'm recording this in, in sunny Florida in February. It's like 80 degrees, I'm in nature. It's amazing. You know, having perspective is probably one of the biggest things that's kept me humble and grounded for years now. I wanna share a quick parable with you. This comes from J.L. Collins. He wrote a book called The Simple Path to Wealth and had financial freedom pretty early in life. And this parable is called The Monk and the Minister. And it's about a monk and a minister who were childhood friends. They grew up and went their separate ways. One became a very humble monk and the other became a very rich and established minister to the king. So they reunite later in life. They get together, they're catching up. And the minister says to the monk, and he's trying to be helpful. He says, you know, you wouldn't have to live on rice and beans if you would just learn how to serve the king. And to that, the monk says, you know, if you could live on rice and beans, you wouldn't have to serve the king. And I think a lot of us fall between the minister and the monk, but in my mind, it's a little better to be closer to the monk's mentality. That reminds me of one of my favorite quotes that you can be twice as rich by desiring half as much. Now, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. That's none of my business, but I do think it's worth considering these three things. Number one, what is the optimal life or lifestyle that you would like to have Number two, are you moving closer towards that goal? And number three, are you leveraging the power of passive income to help get you there? So in a reflection of these points, there's three reasons I like to invest in value add multifamily private placements. Number one is that they really can be hands off. In other words, they free up my time so I can spend my time on things that I love and enjoy doing in life. Number two, they do often produce passive income, have the potential for equity upside, and in a lot of cases can produce tax benefits to help you maximize your returns. And number three is that a true value add business plan really can improve the lives of others. And I've seen it firsthand. A value add business plan to me should elevate the lifestyle of others. It should create a sense of community. It should make the community safer. It should bring newer and nicer amenities to the people who live there. So investing doesn't have to be about greed. It doesn't have to be about benefiting at someone else's expense. To me, it's all about helping other people, building financial independence for yourself and for your family. And after all, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done and we pass away, it becomes about charity anyway. We have to give it away because we can't take the money to the grave. So enjoy life and happy investing. You're listening to the Passive Income Lifestyle Series. I'm Travis Watts. If you want to learn more about Ashcroft Capital or Ashcroft Capital's Value Add Fund 3, you can visit avaf3.com or reach out to myself, Travis, at ashcroftcapital.com. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great week, and we'll see you in the next episode.